it's Emily back with another speed build today I am building at Foxbury Institute um, I wanted to do a modern build uh, my previous build was at Brightchester and it was kind of a historical looking building and I knew with this one obviously to fit in with the surrounding area I wanted it to be modern um, and I really wanted to utilize uh, the round shapes um, and I could do that with this mod you'll see I'm using here it's the tool mod I will put the link in uh, below so you can download it for yourself you don't need the mod installed in order to use my lots um, it's an existing uh, object and so it doesn't actually count as a modded object I'm just uh, rotating it in a way that you normally wouldn't be able to um, I've used this mod before and it's becoming more popular um, with some of the builders out there just to allow for extra creativity um, so I knew going in that I wanted to have this round um, shape and uh, this is all from my imagination I did look at some pictures for references but this is not a copy of any building out there um, there's not really any round features in the rest of the world but I figured if I did both towers with the round shapes that it would kind of fill, fit in uh, balancing each other out so you'll see at the end of my build or actually in the beginning of this when I do the widescreen panel of everything that both of them um, are the same building and so they work together um, so doing the roof here uh, was tricky. I ended up having to place uh, just some flooring down because you'll see on the inside I needed to do some interior. Uh, the uh, I do a balcony inside and in order for the balcony to work with the stairs and everything I couldn't have a roof because they you can't have your stairs going up through a roof. So I did change that out um, from what you're seeing here and I think it works alright. Um, but that means that there's not officially a roof over it and as I was playtesting this in winter it wasn't an issue but it potentially could be um, that there's no roof so you have to see for yourself how that works out um, this is kind of a, a messy build to edit because as I was saying I just kind of made it up as I was going and so there were a lot of changes that I wasn't really anticipating and um, you know the video got kind of long just because uh, all these changes so uh, I apologize for that but um, definitely you can see my process here um, I knew I wanted some overhanging areas on the sides there uh, that was kind of from the inspirational photo um, but there serves no purpose for it other than really architectural so first I went in you know thinking I want these round shapes I want these overhangs and I'm gonna have multiple levels um, so I was really based off of the look of things and I didn't really have a solid plan for what the rooms were gonna be uh, I knew I wanted to have a gym area because uh, my sims frequently um, when they're in college they need to use the gym um, with all the dorm food uh, so that was kind of something I wanted to have um, and then I was also hoping for a uh, cafeteria type area uh, like you would find in um, like a college setting uh, and so the lower level ends up being a cafeteria um, I put some uh, vending machines which you can't actually use uh, but they look cool they fit with the vibe of the of the room and then I knew this round um, round room I wanted to have like a library or a study area and so that ends up happening um, I do like the look of the double stacked windows but uh, I couldn't make it work with the full round room um, it was just getting too tall and too bulky so you'll see I ended up deleting one of the levels and moving that full circle uh, down a level and in the end I'm really happy with what uh, what you know the end result is um, but as you can see it was it was a process to get to the end result and um, a lot of finicky work trying to get the windows to line up 
um, correctly. Um, so you'll see in the final bill that they're definitely a little more aligned. I didn't include all of that because that would be endless editing of Windows that you don't really need to watch. Um, it's kind of boring, but uh, I also, like I said, edited a lot of the um, the final decoration. So you'll definitely need to look at the final shots to see, you know, what it looks like in the end. Um, I jump around a lot. Like as I'm scrolling through a category, I'll see, you know, this book that needs to go in the library, but then the next one, I'll see this sign that needs to go in the kitchen or whatever. And so I'm jumping around a lot. And so that really is hard to edit in. Um, so I kind of skip that. That's kind of at the end, uh, where I'm doing the final decorating and, you know, definitely check out the final, um, the room shots to see how I've done everything. Um, you know, I also played around with the colors a lot. Um, you know, I wanted to have some contrast. So I have a light color and a dark color on the outside and that ends up changing a little bit, but, um, I still, um, end up keeping with that theme and I found a color that matches the yellow that's on the lower part of the building pretty well uh, with my builds uh, in the like this one and with the previous one in Brightchester I try to take some reference from the surrounding area and so you'll see that I you know add added the square windows that um, the lower building uses um, I haven't yet, but you'll see that on the on the top and the sides and the same with the yellow color like I want to try and incorporate it. So even though, you know, with the round shapes and the kind of funky roof that I'm trying to do um, don't really fit with the rest of the world, I'm trying to kind of incorporate it and reference that at least through the colors and the windows by, um, you know, repeating, repeating the themes. But it definitely is its own thing. Um, yeah, right here on the back, you'll see I add those windows to match the ones below and then eventually the yellow color. And you'll see that the a lot of the roofs surrounding the buildings are like a roof on an angle. And so once I was um, looking at things, I thought, you know, I wanted to have this short little roof like I have right now. But then, you know, to better m match the rest of the world I end up putting on um, this diagonal roof which I think you know makes it again it's just another element that makes it fit with the rest of the world you know and I was trying to do some creative things with the railings um, and so in order to make that work uh, it was uh, it was definitely very finicky um, and when I try and close off the railing it would actually delete the rounded part here and so what I had to do is um, p place a little piece of railing and then drag it over in order to make it not uh, close it off and and disappear that round railing so, so just some little tricks like that you'll see I use um, in order to make some of this architecture happen in the way that I wanted to. It was definitely a finicky um, build and I had to redo a lot of things and fortunately for editing you can <laughs> cut a lot of that out so you guys don't have to watch as I had my trials and tribulations of trying to make the architecture work in the way that I wanted to. Um, I definitely am pleased with the way it turned out um, and using it you know my sims it's very usable they could access everything. Um, the NPCs were, you know, able to utilize everything just fine. Um, so this has been play tested and you shouldn't have any issues. Definitely always place with move objects on all of my lots. Um, that's just a flat warning that you definitely should place um, my lots with that cheat on. Uh, otherwise you're going to get some things moving on you in ways that will make it not work. Um, here's where I'm talking about the balcony area. I had to really be uh, kind of finicky with this and uh, do a lot of figuring out in order to make it work. But in the end, I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Um, I love how the round shapes echo each other to the room and the balcony. And um, you know, some of the, the 
two side pieces there that end up jutting out into the room are a little awkward. I couldn't quite make those line up and still have the circle be um, the, the size that I wanted. So that's a little awkward, but you know, I put some bookshelves in front of it and you wouldn't notice it in the final build. Uh, so there's little t tricks to cover it up. You know, I had started with these orange colors. I wanted to have some fun, like bright uh, pops of color in there. Uh, with the modern build, I felt like that would really fit in. But in the end, to get the flooring and the stonework and everything to work together, I ended up going with this monotone, uh, monochrome gray palette. And that way, you know, as you're decorating or adding furniture, um, I felt like I could have more freedom with that. So you'll see uh, the furniture and um, decorations and everything are where I brought it all to life with all the colors. I used a lot of primary colors. Um, yellow, red, blue is kind of the theme uh, of this build. Um, just to keep thing again, I, I feel like that's kind of a modern uh, design technique and so you'll see here in the library, I'm using white to kind of offset the black of the walls and the floor. But then I add these pops of color with the chairs and the lights. Um, and that's kind of the way I feel like it comes to life that way. Um, you'll see that the same, I use the same chairs, same colors in the cafeteria. Again, I felt like that's kind of a you know, like a common, like for a common area that they would add some pops of color to the chair or, you know, even with a college setting, that's a pretty common thing um, from what I've seen, at least in my area. I wanted to have a robotics, um, you know, crafting station. Um, you can build robotics other ways, but uh, I know that when I first played the dorms, I missed out on that robotic station. And so that was something I thought, okay, I'm going to actually put this in to this build, you know, definitely take it out. If you're like, Hey, that doesn't really fit in that room. Um, why would I have a robotic station in the library? Well, that's why is because I personally wanted to have it and missed out on it. So, you know, like I said, if it doesn't fit with the vibe of, uh, the build for you, then absolutely modify it to fit with you what whatever you want you could put another couch in there or you know another table and chairs a desk even um you know I really liked the look of the different colored beds um so I went with the same style but you know they they each have different colors and as I was decorating the room kind of a story came to life for me where each um each dorm room had like you could tell the personality of each sim so like one sim was into sports and then one sim was um you know into music or like the Loch Ness and aliens and kind of supernatural stuff so uh, you know I had a lot of fun decorating the rooms as well here is the cafeteria area um you know I kind of wanted uh, a common area a hangout area and um you know, as I play tested this, it was fun to see, you know, the NPCs hang out and um, there's some trash cans there and they were taking out the trash. And, you know, I really enjoyed this area as far as um, a hangout spot and, you know, the, the multi-level so you can kind of see it from both levels. Um, it has a really open feeling to it. And so, um, you know, I wanted to include some bench seating as well. I feel like that's a pretty common thing. So I used the Discover University couch for that and kind of squished them together so it looks like one big long bench. Um, the microwave I placed on an angle. Um, I don't think it's usable at the moment. Uh, so you would have to actually change that if you wanted to use it. Um, but I wanted to place it like that just for looks. But definitely um, you know, replace it that's actually on a counter uh, if you want to use it. And then right there I use the red shelf. I, I'll use that a couple of times. I will also put that in the link. Um, I've used that in my builds before. It's really helpful for placing clutter in ways that you wouldn't normally be able to. Um, and having it actually sit flush on the table uh, rather than kind of floating. Like a lot of times if you just use the nine and zero keys to raise and lower then it will be 
off of the surface if you um, kind of pan down or like put the camera down and you'll see that it's actually floating and so a way around that is to use this red shelf and you just put it to the exact height of whatever you're placing it on and then you can drag your item over like you saw me do in the um, in the demo there so um, the basketball hoop uh, <laughs> I wanted to have like one of those over the door hoops that you know um, kids would use and um, so I shrunk it down it looks a little odd because it's not the right proportions but your sims can still use it um, just be ready to laugh a little at the animation being off and um, but you can still use it so that was kind of the important thing and um, right here this guy's into robots in my mind guy or girl um, and yeah as you can see uh, like I have some that are really into spaceships one guy's into sports um, there's one that has like uh, some makeup and stuff and in the back area I wanted to have like uh, you know a game room and so that's where I have like the ping pong and the foosball table um, for them to hang out and watch TV and have fun and stuff like that um, in the top level you can see here is where I add my common bathroom there's a couple of toilets and like a public shower area and then the gym area um, I went with full-on Foxberry pride and the floor has you know, big F for Foxberry on it and some gym equipment. And we end up putting some uh, vending machines up there as well. Again, I don't know if they're functional. I, I think it is, but it acts like a fridge. Um, and so you can't actually buy like vending machine food, but you can get uh, refreshments from it. And, um, you know, I really had fun with this build. I feel like it has all the needs that my sims need in a dorm. And, um, you know, that was something that when I first played the um, dorms that shipped with uh, Discovery University, that I felt like I really had to add a lot of stuff to it um, to make it fit with my sims and what they were doing. And so, you know, when I did my builds, I tried to make sure that that was included in my dorm builds. So I hope you guys enjoy this, um, you know, definitely leave me some feedback. Um, thanks again for watching.